Welcome back to another smoke review. I'm Parker with Homegrown Cannabis Co. Today we'll be taking a look at Stinking Bishop. This is a monster of a plant, heavy hitting and high yielding. It's an indica leaning hybrid that grows like a sativa. Its parents are critical and cheese candy, has a very unique smell to it. With the funkiness of cheese, it also has some sweet notes of fruit and lemon. So this plant isn't gonna be for everybody, especially when you see how tall this plant can get. It tends to be very stretchy, getting over six feet tall indoors and up to 10 feet outdoors. If you plan on growing this plant, you need to approach it strategically. Be ready to add plenty of support to an outdoor plant, and you may need to implement a few techniques for an indoor grow, like scrog trellising, topping, and super cropping. Even though it grows like a giant sativa, it hits like an OG and flowers about as quickly. In seven to nine weeks, expect to have a huge amount of trichome packed buds ready to harvest. Even though it's fast flowering, this strain really packs on a lot of weight in those final two weeks of flower, so make sure you let it finish out. Indoor can yield up to about five ounces per square foot and nearly three pounds from a large outdoor plant. Usually comes in around 18% THC with a trace of CBD. The dominant terpenes you'll find is limonene, which really comes through along with that pungent cheese smell. It does have a bit of resistance to pest and mold, but be sure to clear out some of those fan leaves as it grows. Being that it's such a large plant, it's important to keep good airflow. This will help prevent mold from forming. This is definitely a good afternoon or evening smoke. It's a heavy relaxing high, but it's not going to completely knock you out. So let's spark this up and see how it smokes. So we're going to give this stinking bishop a dry toke. It's got that funky, skunky taste to it. You get a bit of citrus notes coming through as well. So we're going to fire this up and see how it smokes. Tastes like a citrusy OG with a little bit of extra skunk or funky cheese. This is a unique taste to it. If you haven't tried any cheese before, this is a strain you won't forget. So if you're planning on growing some of this this summer, you wanna get these seeds right away and get them in the ground. This is a big, tall plant. It's pretty quick flower time, so if you wanna get this this season, be sure to pick up some of these seeds. Stinking Bishop has that pungent earthy flavor with the slightest hint of citrus. It reminds me a lot of an OG, but it has that little extra funk. This is the type of weed I love to smoke. Skunky, heavy, relaxing, and unique. So if you have the space and you're ready to try this beast of a plant, head over to Homegrown Cannabis Co. and get some of these seeds in the ground. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.